Merry, merry day after the day after Christmas, everyone. I see I got my thing in my splint. I'm like, ah, my arm was numb all day yesterday on and off. I'm going, gee, should I, should I stay here overnight in the Baltimore area so I can like twist the dentist's arm tomorrow to fit me in for an adjustment? I don't know. I just had one last week. I'm thinking maybe I should just go home and do yoga. Maybe ice my neck and stop jerking my jaw all over the place. I got to say. Straying off of carnivore, you know, meat, eggs, and, and fish, and th straying off of that has caused my jaw, my jaw moves all day long in ways I did not imagine it did until I got this splint and I can feel myself doing it. I gotta go back! I gotta go back carnivore. <laughs> Sarah in the UK, imperfect carnivore. I'm so with you, man. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get through this holiday. Well, this is the thing. My daughter, lovely, lovely, lovely partner, El Salvador. These people are from El Salvador. She's been with them three years. I've met the mom, but I didn't meet the dad. And I'm just like, I'm just, I'm very, oh, I've had a lot of trauma involved with family. So I'm like, I don't want to get involved. I just don't want, I don't want to be judged. I don't want to get, I don't want, I mean, just like, you know, I'm just a mess. So anyway, I'm like, yeah, yeah, fine. I'll go, I'll go. He's like, oh, we're, we're, we're. <laughs> let's go to my mom's. <clears throat> she's got some soup. All right, my daughter says, yes, yeah, she's ready. I'm gonna pick her up. Anyway, from there for a little while before she gets on the plane. So... He's like, first they thought she wanted to go out, and then he, she must have called him and said, no, no, I got all this food, I got so much food, we can't go out. Like, their, their culture is, come over, man, I'm gonna feed you till you die. I'm gonna feed you till you're stuffed. We can roll you out the door. It's called love. This is how these people love you. They bring you in your, their home and say, they look me straight in their, my face, and, the one, and it's basically like your family. We don't care how you feel about it. We don't care what you think about it. Your family, and here's your soup. Eat it. And when I'm just like, I looked at, well, I'm walking over to the table and I see this ginormous bowl of vegetables in this soup. It was huge. And I'm thinking, well, that's for everybody to dip from, right? Then she walks over to the table and sets another one down. I'm like, whoa, 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 is that mine? The one that I'm going, no, 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 no. And, and they're just smiling. <laughs> She brought that bowl, sat it down, and then she sat another one in front of her husband, another one, blah, blah, blah. So we're all sitting at the table, and, I, and it was delicious. It was delicious, and I hadn't had vegetable soup in a while, and there was a little bit of meat in it and neck bones. And so I'm, I'm going, but it was it was enough for the family. One bowl was enough for all of us, okay? And we, I watched this. I sat and watched this man to my right, her husband, eat the entire thing. I was like, what? Even his wife laughed. She's like, ha, ha, ha. She doesn't speak hardly any English, a little bit, a little bit. And he speaks more than her. But it was just, it was unbelievably. And then I listened to my daughter speak fluent Spanish. And I'm like, and she's like, I know, right? How did I learn this? I'm like, Megan, a little bit out of Spanish guy, I guess. Anyway, it just was hit osmosis after a while. But uh, I, I was just, it was incredibly funny. And I'm like, there's no way, because there's, you can't reject well, you shouldn't. <laughs> Don't reject love. Unless you're absolutely allergic, uh, you know, to the food. Just eat it. Just eat it, you know? So I did. Everything was fine. But, and then as soon as I'm halfway through this bowl of vegetables, she brings a chicken leg over and drops it into soup, everybody's soup. And I'm like, oh, if only I'd had a chicken leg before I ate all these vegetables. But anyway, God bless her heart, man. It was absolutely authentic, delicious food, uh, El Salvador. So absolutely delicious, no doubt. And I brought it home. I'm going to, you know, me and Leonard are going to eat it, you know? So I, I had to, to, to go. And it's like a, a tall soup thing, like enough for a family again, came home with me. I'm like, wow. It was just what was left in my bowl. <laughs> and, and Sarah, UK, <clears throat> UK, uh, Imperfect Carnivore, UK. She also had to eat something off, off schedule because you were going to people's homes that they do, we... You're going to rock their fucking world if you're like, I can't eat that. You look like a effing asshole. These people don't understand. You're not going to eat there every day. You need to let them love you. You need to accept their love offering. It is, it's real to them. And instead of freaking out the old people, like as it's Sarah in UK, she has, you know, they were elderly and they don't understand. Why waste the day explaining to these people what well, they're so perplexed about why you won't eat this or that? Just, just fucking eat it. Uh, I'm with you, Sarah, in the UK. You are, it, this is real life. We don't need to be militant to the point where we're ruining everybody's holiday. You know, it's like, just have your cheese cracker with them and get on down the road. Like, I, I have to jump on board with you in a, in a few days. 
uh, I need to go. I'm not, and then the six week thing is lion is very fabulous. It, it it's going to clear me. I have so much inflammation in my gut. It does not hurt. It's just bloated. It just looks like I'm. It almost looks like I'm pregnant. If I relax my stomach muscles, it's like this huge. I look six or eight months pregnant. I'm like, I got to hold my muscles in to hold the inflammation in. So. I'm there. We got it. We got to do it. So we're going to, I'm so happy you're on day one. I'm thrilled for you and I'm right behind you. So I'm right behind you. All right, everyone. Let's have a fabulous day, but it was so utterly amazing. Maybe I'll take a photo of, maybe I'll take a photo of the food. I wanted it to be hot in the bowl. I should have took it hot in the bowl and then I could have put it as a thumbnail on this video, but you get the idea. It was a ginormous bowl of vegetables. And I was like, oh, but delicious. I have to say, absolutely delicious. So we're going to have some this week with our, with our meat, <laughs> me and Lenny. Let me be like, this is, this is really good. And I'm like, right. So Lenny, you have to go visit Ronald's parents when you come to Glen Burnie because they want to see you. They, they just truly, they're just like your family. You ain't got to like it, but you're family. You are family now. Understand this. This man uh, told me that at any time, if I need to come to this house, I need that. I am literally, I'm like, well, okay. And this is, these kids have not been through a marriage ceremony, nothing, but they've been together three years and they are tight, happy. We all know that they love each other very, very much. This is a very real marriage. It did not need the government's stamp of approval, you know, to say this is what marriage is. So I am just I, I, I feel very blessed that my daughter and this young man have found one another. I feel they are very blessed. I feel absolutely comfortable knocking on their door day or night if I ever needed them. Not that I would unless I did. And then I would feel perfectly comfortable. I believe them. Their heart is very open. They are just wonderful people. Thank you. Ronald's parents, you're fabulous. Anyway, let's have a great year. Let's, we're almost at the end of this one. Let's go. Let's go back on our little wagon and clear out our, our bodies of these, um, the Carbalicious Christmas. Okay. Peace out, y'all. I gotta go get my kid.